Hey guys, it's me, Chance. Today I'm going to show you how to export a Godot application into Wallpaper Engine. So let's get into this. So I'm just going to show you guys the application I want as my wallpaper. It's a custom one I made myself. These are destructible blocks, normal blocks. You can launch rocks, papers, and scissors. You erase them. It's pretty simple. I want this as my wallpaper. Okay. So then I exit. There's a couple things you should know before exporting your project and finishing it. Is Wallpaper Engine, I'm exporting in the HTML because I think it's the best. Wallpaper Engine only supports one type of input. That's left click and when it's just detecting it like only once. So there's no holding function at all for it. It's just one time, there's nothing for holding. So I made this custom variable right here called mouse is down. All I have it is, is if input is actually just pressed, left click, mouse is down true. If it's just released, mouse is down to false. And that replaces input is action pressed. There you go. So that's what you should know. Now let's go to project, export, HTML. You might have to download files if you have an export for HTML yet, but that's pretty simple to do. Haven't changed any of these at all. Export project. Let's go to a new, let's make a new folder. We'll call this for YouTube. Boop. HTML, you want export debug off. Save. It's exported. Now you want to go to Wallpaper Engine, create new wallpaper, boop. Then you want to go to where your file is saved at. Mine is saved here in GitHub. Now you want to go export for YouTube. Here it is. You want to click the HTML icon. There you go. Let's name this something random like this. Okay. Personally, I always try to put a icon for it. So just pick one. I'm just going to click a random one once this loads. Boop. There you go. Got the name, got everything. Okay. Now if I exit the editor part and to maximize this, we have our wallpaper here. And if we click it, minimize this, go home. It should be loading in. There's this loading bar. And here we go. I can spawn the entities. I can erase the blocks, them as well. Spawn the blocks. Reset, pause, destroy everything. Go to a new scene, all the buttons. I recommend using buttons as well because of the fact since you only have left click, you're going to need to use buttons to substitute keyboard inputs. As you can see, this is my wallpaper because my icons are actually in front of it and applications as well. Like I can have this, here we go. And that's how you export your applications from Godot into Wallpaper Engine. You could use .exe files, but it doesn't look as good and it's a lot more laggy. Personally, I find HTML the best. Um, if you want to know about this wallpaper I made, I have it on the Steam Workshop. I will put a link to it in the description. And I shall be making a devlog about the process of making this pretty soon because there's a couple things I had to learn when I was making this, which I think would be insightful. Anyways, that's all. I'll see you guys next time and have a wonderful day.